Hello, sweethearts and lovelies, and welcome back to Fresno's Master Duel. I am Fresno, your virtual YouTuber host, and this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. And we are showing highlights from the NNR Rarity Festival. And we've shown a whole bunch. We're going to show the same deck we showed last time, F.A. Metal Foes. But that was kind of a crushing obliteration. This is what happens when F.A. Metal Foes enters the grind game. Oh boy. Boiling milk here fucking gave me a run for my money. So let's get into this shit without any further ado. Jesus Christ. This opponent's deck kind of slaps. Not gonna lie. It's a little absurd how well it can play the grind game now, but I can play the grind game too. <laughs> We have ourselves a decent hand, but no real way to boost F.A. Hang on Mach. This is an earlier play from when I was still kind of learning the deck. So we're going to go Pendulum Scale it up. And we pop the uh, other scale here to set Paramental Foes Fusion. We're going to set our counters. And we're going to summon Hang on Mach and pass. Not the greatest I know, but you know. I can get value if any of my cards are destroyed. They play Giant Ball Park. One of the most fucky-wucky field spells printed in recent memory. Let's show you how it The normal summon Insect Knight. A level 4 in normal monster insect. And they're going to attack my thing. And then they activate Giant Ball Park. If a player would take battle damage from a battle, neither player can take it. And if you do, you send a level 4 lower insect monster from your deck to your graveyard. And if it was a normal monster... Special summon any number of monsters with the same name from your hand deck or graveyard. So they send Shiny Black Sea Squadron, and they just fill the field with 2,000 attack fucking common Rider fuckers. Oh, Jesus. And the battle still happened, but I, I can Metal Foes counter, though, luckily, and slap down Metal Foes Volflame with 2400 attack to prevent myself from getting bungus for three quarters of my fucking life points by these common Riders. But that doesn't help because they have four fucking monsters for extra deck plays now, so they go into, first of all, number 70, Malevolent Sin. And they're going to spin my Volflame for the time being. Then they get to summon this thing by banishing an insect from their graveyard. And they go into another rank 4 seed. Diamond Crab King. An annoying as piss fucking card. 3,000 defense. Once a turn, you can detach exceed material from it to switch its attack and defense. And if it attacks, you uh, put it... And, uh, yeah... It changes to defense position. So basically, you got two free turns of I poke you with a 3,000 attack monster and then change it to 3,000 defense. Annoying. Very annoying. All right. Against that field, I'm up and I top deck FA Off Road Grand Prix. Well, my Volflame comes back and I'm going to Paramel Foes Fusion and go into Mithrilium here. So, what? If you don't know, last time, uh, Mithrilium, once per turn, can shit... Okay, well, actually, we get to show the uh, Graveyard Effect of Metal Foes Counter first. Because I can banish it from my Graveyard to get a Metal Foes Pendulum Monster from my face of extra deck back to my hand. So that's interesting. Oh, now we're going to Mithrilium. Shuffle these two back, and I'm going to spin... I spin the Giant Ballpark here because I'm aware... I'm afraid of that second effect. If a monster... Yeah. If a monster is sent to the Graveyard, then it becomes a card effect. So... I, I I misread this. I was thinking it was battle. I didn't know what the fuck this does. I should I probably should have spun one of the monsters. Would have saved me a lot of time, but, you know. Anyway, we're going to get another counter by popping the field spell. And with the field spell, I'm going to grab Hang on Mock again for all the good it does. I'm really determined to get this thing to stick and boost it up. But we're going to go into the Malevolent Sin and get rid of that. And we're passing on this board, which isn't the greatest in the world, I know. But, what have they got? Well, they got Giant Ballpark again. And they put this thing into attack mode. Boosts it up to 3k. And, oh, Giant Ballpark! They're sending their Insect Knight. Bonk. Bonk. Luck, yeah. Luckily, they had to banish that Insect Knight, so they only got two. But my Metal Foes counter comes out. And I get Power from Metal Foes Metal Caster. 
They're gonna go into hang on knock, so you know. But we can uh, counter, and we're gonna go into ah yes, metal foes full flame, and then this guy goes back to defense mode. But no, oh wait, they're not done. They're not done. They're gonna link all these things off into triple burst dragon. Ooh, scary, scary. What's it do? In the damage step, it can negate activated effects, and it has piercing. And so that's that's some nasty bullshit. Okay, but you know, I I I I, I can deal with that. So we get another Paramelphos fusion. And but now we're going to exceed summon a card that we and this is a fun card. Ada is absolute dragon. A really rad rat rank seven. So we're gonna walk over their triple burst. And we'll pass on this. We're just gonna set our stuff and scale. And yeah, we're good on that. This is a pretty good card. I can negate an attack with... I can negate some attacks with this. But now the second half of their deck comes. They burn through all their common Rider, Shiny Black Seas, and their Insect Knights. But now they have a fucking danger package. And the luck that these people have... This deck has is absurd. So they go into a Goki Pole here once they summon their danger. And they Link Summon... Oh, this is a fun play, actually. I like this. They Link Summon Track Black. So they can target the monster this card points to, and every time it destroys an opponent's monster, that'll draw a card. So they're pointing to their fucking 3k booty diamond crab king, so I guess they're like, I'm gonna destroy your monster and get value. <laughs> so they get this stupid thing that they can banish an insect to summon, which is ridiculous, and this thing gets value, and they're gonna go into diamond crab king, boost it up again, Oh, track black, I'm going to draw a card! <laughs> I negate the attack. So they're not doing much with that. And they're out of material for this stupid bungus now, thank God, so I can deal with it. We get the FA circuit, and we're going to pop the Metal Foes to get Metal Foes combination. And we're going to Metal Foes counter to add back the thing we just popped. We'll normal summon it, because I want to walk over this stupid fucker. Giant Ballpark does some bullshit, sending Goki Pole, which will let him add a Danger Mothman. So the Danger part of his uh, engine is still going. Doesn't take any battle damage, but, you know. I can still do 900 with this. Uh, that's not bad. He uh, prevented a lot of damage that he would have taken. All right. So here he goes again with the Danger Roulette. And he hits the Mothman. And with the Mothman effect, he, we get we each draw one to discard. Going for Danger Chupacabra. Discarding Planet Pathfinder to get this thing out. Mothman. Discarding fucking Tenyi Mapara. And they bring this and they bring this shit out. And now he's going into a Link 3. Berserker of the Tenyi. A 3k beat stick. So that's something. You know, I'm going to let him walk over my Vol Flame because it doesn't matter because if I draw a Metal Foe monster, I can power Metal Foe Fusion, so it's not so bad. Okay, another FA Circuit Grand Prix. That's not, that's not so bad. So we're going to Combination here. And then we're going to activate Vol Flame. Pop our own Combination. Let's set another power Metal Foe Fusion because why not? Combination triggers. Let's me get Vol Flame from the hand. We're going to Counter to get the silvered back. No, we'll summon the silvered. Paramental Foe Fusion. And we're going to go into... I, is it going to be Mithrilium again? Yes, it is. Really good card. Don't knock it. So we're going to shuffle two back to get rid of the ballpark again because I don't trust this fucking card. I want to do some damage. So here's some interesting bullshit. So I walk into the Berserker of the Ten. You may wonder why I've done that. If this succeeds, come the card of the center of the graveyard, I can special summon an odd eyes monster from my extra deck. So I summon a card I've had to face in the series before, Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, which, when it's special summoned, I can bounce a card. So I'm going to bounce their Bungus Berserker of the Tenyi. They have the map around, I'm like, ah, shit, until I realize, oh, hey, I have a Pendulum monster in my extra deck. I can negate that! <laughs> so the chain works out in my favor. I put this back in the deck, their mapper of fizzles, and I can bounce Berserker of the Tenny and start doing some real fucking damage. 
I am maintaining the board presence here. We have swung things around just a bit, and they've got two cards in hand, and one of them is fucking giant to ballpark, so... Unfortunately, the fucking top deck they got! Lightning Vortex! You sack, you bastard. So, there goes my cards. Luckily, Mithrilium floats here, so we can get Volflame back at least. That's something. And we'll draw Paramelophos Metalcaster. And we're just going to shotgun the fusion. Fuse these two. And we're going to go into... Metalphos Orichalc! Which does double piercing damage. And uh, we can pop a card. So we're going to Grand Prix. Pop it. And we're going to grab ourselves Combination. And then with the FA, we're going to grab our last Hang On Mock. We'll slap that board down. We'll slap the field down. And we've got a pretty commanding fucking presence here. <laughs> so we do just under lethal. Uh, they have a top deck. I mean, come on. They can't come back from this, can they? What do they got? Another fucking danger card. Well, it's the only one they have, so they draw it. And it's discarded. They special summon their Mothman. What are they going to do? <gasps> They're going to run right into my metal foes and concede. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What a fucking game. I'm glad I didn't include this in the last episode, making episode four. That would have been like a 20 minute long thing, but holy shit. This deck was absolutely wild. They made me work for that victory, goddammit. And I worked for it. And so that's all the replays I'd like to show you from Fresno's Master Duel this time around. I mean, I have a bunch of decks built. I can I can actually show you. I can actually show you this time. So, I just built a Cyber Dragon deck with all the gems I got. Uh, maybe this is foolhardy because they're supposedly they're supposedly adding new packs, uh, in like twelve days or something. But you know, I can take my chances. I got some pretty good decks. So you should see my CC decks. VW, Invoke Dog Manager Shadal. I haven't showed off yet. That deck is a mystery. There's a regular Melodious deck. The Live Twins I haven't shown off yet. My old Zodiac deck from uh, the X Siege Festival. And then we've got Pen, Stein Striker, so, uh, And I do have an Eldritch deck, but I haven't been able to bring myself to play this fucking thing yet because Jesus Christ. Fucking Eldritch, man. Fucking Eldritch. Alright. So that's that. So, until I dust this game off again and get some more replays, we will be seeing you some other time. Uh, check my blog, fresnosravingrants.blogspot.com, where I post long-winded words about anime. And uh, check out twitch.tv slash freezinginferno for uh, more of my streams. I don't know. I, I, I stream whenever I feel like it, basically. I mean, I, I paid for the uh, virtual YouTuber, and I like using it, so... Uh, all right, everybody. Be seeing ya. Have a good day. Bye-bye.